quite a while uh, since I've been in the city of brotherly love. It seems, you know, really like quite a long time. How long would that be, Bob? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Uh, you know, it's been so long. I think the last time I was here, if you worked in Harrisburg, you didn't even need to have Dennis Kogan's number on your speed dial. That's how long it's been. Yeah, and then the last time I was there was even longer ago than that, I think. George W. Bush wasn't president. You actually had the right to habeas corpus, and the Constitution was still in one piece. That's how long it's been. But tonight I'm here to tell you, you know, I am a legitimate candidate for the president of the United States, but you know, I, I, I get no respect. So I call up Ed Rendell and ask for his endorsement, and he, endorsement, and he said, why not? I endorse everybody else. Why as well endorse you? Thank you, Ed. Yeah, no wonder they wouldn't allow me to participate. Warm and fuzzy, that's my middle name. <laughs> yeah, you know, Bob Barr, people don't think I know how to smile, but that's really not true. I am smiling. Trust me, trust, trust me on that one. You know, the press actually does say I'm, uh, I'm humorless and grumpy. Uh, it's actually not true. I am kind of funny. You know, for example, I'm a libertarian. You know, how many libertarians does it take to screw it in life? sit back and let the free market do it. Yeah, it always, that always breaks me up too as a libertarian. But I'm here tonight to tell you, to get to know the real Bob Barr. You know, people say that I'm a far-right extremist. That's not true either. I'm bipartisan. I actually am both a paid-up member of the National Rifle Association and the ACLU. You know, that way, when I go hunting with Dick Cheney, I can defend myself and legally get away with it. <laughs> yeah, there are also folks out there that think the that's not true either. Barack Obama likes me more than he likes basketball. In fact, the first call that I get every morning is from Barack Obama making sure that I'm okay. <laughs> Hello, Barack. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. I just got the ludicrous CDs. Yeah, man, they're very sizzle. But Barack, yes, I promise you I'm going to stay in this race until November. him being in the race. Next to him, a lot of the folks think that I'm the young guy. But there are people also that think that uh, running as a libertarian, as a third party candidate, we're not going to be able to raise the money uh, that the other candidates do. You know, Barack Obama, I think, raised something like 51 million last month, and McCain raised uh, 27 mil. Uh, you know, what if we raise, uh, well, a little bit less than 27 million, but I'm not, but I, listen, I really am not worried. I have a very good feeling down here in my gut that any day now Tom Knox is going to adopt me. <laughs> and there are, there, are, there are actually folks out there that, uh, that think I'm against the two-party system. I love the two-party system as long as the Libertarian Party is one of the two parties. Actually, there are a lot of folks out there that don't even know what a Libertarian is. I swear, my mom still thinks I don't eat meat. But, you know, a Libertarian is a person who wants to give the country back to the people and not just the people in government. And that's what I'll do. That's what I promise to do. But that, but I can't do that if I'm not heard out there. And we, and we have, uh, we have to, we've done some polling, Zogby has done some polling and shows that 50%, this is actually serious, that the Zogby poll shows that 50%, 55%, a majority of the American people uh, do want the Libertarian candidate, Bob Barr, included in the debate. So I would uh, ask every, each and every one of you, and I know there are a lot of Libertarians here this evening in Independence, that when you leave here tonight, call your network executives and tell them that you want Bob Barr included in the debates. And when, I, when you do, and if I actually get into the debates and get elected president, these are some of the things that I'll do. You know, I promise to get rid of the Patriot Act and make sure that once again, every American will have the right the privacy that the Bill of Rights promises. When I'm elected, if the FBI wants to go fishing, let them fish in the Delaware River, not their medical and their bank records. When I'm elected president also,
also. I promise to shrink the size of government and put your money back in your pocket. In fact, we as libertarians will shrink the government so much it'll fit inside your back pocket. <laughs> and finally, when I'm elected president, I will lower everyone's taxes, except maybe George Bush and Dick Cheney. That, that, would, that would be a tough one. But most important, when I'm elected president, I promise to get the Eagles a wide receiver who can go deep. Thank you.